Our next story is from Italy, where Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has declared war, a war on deep fakes. She has filed a lawsuit against two men for manipulating her photos and using them to produce pornographic videos. This happened in 2020. Maloney was not the Prime Minister then, but she was still a senior leader, and the fact that even she was targeted shows that everyone is vulnerable. So this legal battle is very important. It will inspire victims to fight back and set a precedent. Our next report tells you more. When a sitting head of state files a lawsuit, the motive is often political. But Italy's Giorgia Maloney is moving the courts with a different agenda. She fell prey to deepfake pornography, a menace that has existed well before the rise of artificial intelligence. But the solutions to the problem are still hard to come by. The case dates back to 2020. The accused are a father and son duo. The cops found them by tracking a mobile. The device was used to upload the altered videos. Reports say the clips were available for several months and they were watched millions of times. Maloney is expected to testify in the case in July. She is seeking 100,000 euros in damages. If she wins, Maloney intends to donate these funds. The money will be used to support victims of male violence. Maloney's lawsuit comes at a significant time. The world is debating the need for better guardrails for AI. Europe has moved fast to regulate the new technology. Recently, it passed a new rule book. It tells internet platforms to start identifying AI content better. A new law was also proposed. If passed, it would criminalize deepfake porn. It has taken years for European leaders to catch up. While the world has just started to realize the risks of AI, the menace of deepfake pornography has existed for years. The problem first came to light around 2017. This was when internet platforms started to roll out a new feature. It was called face swapping. It allowed users to blend different faces onto a photograph. The technology was supposed to be fun, but predators deployed it for nefarious means. So far, a number of celebrities have been targeted by deepfakes. Pop star Taylor Swift is among the high-profile victims. Her deepfakes were shared on social media and on digital chat rooms. It took 19 hours to track down the perpetrator, but by then the damage was done. Her deepfakes were viewed more than 27 million times. With the rise of AI, the problem has just become worse. Artificial intelligence can do much more than just clone faces. It can generate fake pictures from scratch. It can imitate voices and alter existing photographs, often without any clear evidence of tampering. AI companies have rolled out some safeguards, mostly to contain misinformation in the political landscape. But these measures are largely symbolic. The existing curbs have failed to stop the flood of political misinformation. When it comes to deepfake porn, victims of abuse remain in most cases defenseless. Maloney's lawsuit only underscores the urgent need for better protections on the internet.